up guys, I'm Amy from Justice Gamers and welcome to the Stanley Parable. Now this is a game from, I believe it's 2013, and it got suggested by um, this user somewhere around. And we're just gonna play the game. The end is never the end, uh, is never the end, is loading. Alright, it's a narrative a named Stanley. story, so it's kind of this game and the narrator Stanley tells us what we're building. supposed to. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna number shut up. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh! You thought I was eating popcorn? It's Skittles! Trick you! Alright, we got off our desk. And, um... Let's see. Can we open this door? No? I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? What? The end is never no the end is... No matter Stanley looked, he but the end find is the a end. trace of his co-workers. So my co-workers are gone. Uh... Maybe they're all hiding there. Maybe it's my birthday and just they, they, they wanted to surprise me or something. Why is that so difficult to... Let's open this door, okay. SURPRISE! No? Okay, so no one's at work today. Oh! It's Sunday! Alright, oh. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. On his left, huh? Nope! <laughs> Suck this one! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The employee lounge? Oh, uh, let's go to the employee lounge. We, let's admire it. Let's take it in. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. Ah, yes. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Let's, let's... Oh, oh, oh so good! Yes. All right. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. <laughs> A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. It that it most definitely is. I mean, Frank. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, you mean other left? Mm. And so he no! Ah, oh, the, the door closed. No, I didn't want. Oh. Straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. The door opened up again. Okay, so we can. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Shut up, Frank. Shut up, Frank. Warning: Do not jump from the cargo. Fuck off. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good Frank. job, Stanley. Everyone Frank. thinks you are very Frank. powerful. Frank. 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 
just shut it. Oh, we started again. Okay, we that we really died. Maybe we should listen Already to Frank. This was but you know, Frank's Stan kind of a dick. As soon as he found a new space, he's he super safe, sarcastic. He never leave it again in his life. Ah, Frank, you piss me off. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not I the, the one on my right. Room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Oh, perhaps he wanted to all. stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire Look it. Look at this. They couldn't even pick up their papers before they all left. They were in such a hurry to leave this building. Maybe it's because we didn't take a shower. You know, that's that's. I feel like wow. running away when it cla yes. my classmates. This room. What a beautiful room. Yes, it's a beautiful room. What a gorgeous Let's, gorgeous let's just take room. it in again. Let's Thank just drink it again. Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following let's directions, it's incredible he wasn't fine years ago. Suicide is never the answer, alright? Like, I can jump from here, but it won't, it won't do anything, you know? Suicide is never the answer. Look, Stanley, I this game has a powerful got message. Not on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your oh, trust in up. someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I know There's everything's about me, but Frank, you didn't stand there. Someone you've forgotten about. Please stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Who? Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Who are you talking She's about? She's been waiting. Who is she? That's not a good sign. That's a black... That's a... That's a black... Oh my... It's pitch dark now. It's a black room. Let's just not watch. Oh, uh, oh God! That's her, Stanley. Huh? You need to be the one to do this. Do to what? reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the. What? Hey, Stanley, is that you? Oh, it's my wife. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh, All right, honey. Bye. bye. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. What <laughs> the fuck are you, Got Frank? Ya. Oh, come on. Frank, was this you? you was this a practical joke? A wife, they'd want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. You son of a bitch. I like them tits, though. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Good morning, employee 427. Press U on your keyboard. No! I'm not doing that! Just because you tell me, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands <laughs> everything of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Press I. Look at him there, oh. pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's... But you want me to fight? Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. I'm not gonna press A, fuck you, you just... Uh, 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 no! No! No. I'm not gonna, no, not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it! Ah, let's just do it. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. Something changed? From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. What are you even talking about? Let's watch some TV. Press zero. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. 
First, Frank, he Frank is that such, one day such a pranker. He up from his desk such a pranker. To realize that all of his co-workers, Frank, are you boss, proud of yourself? Everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Spend time with the boys. Who are the boys? So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. I have no idea what he's talking about. I have no idea what was going on whatsoever. Let's prepare the dinner. The microwave is gonna vanish. As he wandered through what the fuck? world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay I'm, I'm just sick of your room. shit, Frank. Let's just open the door. Oh, it's gross. Oh, Lisa, you peed all over the floor. That's not pee, that's diarrhea. You're good. It's hard to tell your kids a story. I don't have any kids. It's robot kids. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Press 9 to tell your wife you love her. I don't love her, she shit all over my apartment. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the yes. next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Is this a test? Do you want me to press to, to press the button? This is a test, isn't it? You want you you're telling me that I'm all right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, all right, all right. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're telling me that I'm boring because I do everything I'm told. Yet you tell me not to do what I'm told. But if I do that, then I would be doing what I'm told. So, in that case, I will have to press the Lucy, button. Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that Frank, he understands? Frank, every you're absolutely pet shit crazy. You're not making any himself. sense. How can I get him to see what I see? What How do you even see, man? Himself? To question nothing. I'm questioning a lot right now. I'm questioning my life. I'm questioning why I'm playing this fucking game. It's... What... <laughs> I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're Dude. not so different, I suppose. Dude. I'll try once Dude. more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. What will maybe I see? Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please die. Stanley what? pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I no! Oh! I clicked, and now I'm dead. Well, I think I'm dead. Am I dead? Ah, I'm dead. All right, this is the end of the first episode. This game is... Ah, my mind. I don't even understand what's going on. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm just going to play this game again. I'm, I'm, this time, we're, good. we're just going to listen. So, I will see you guys in the next video. I think I said that about three times. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.